But now it is time for our main subject today. This week, I would like to focus on the subject which everyone is most likely sick of hearing about, but has to, the coronavirus and its impact on music. Arguably, nothing ever in the world of anything ever has affected the world of music more than the coronavirus. Well, maybe the plague. I mean, Black Death was not great for playing concerts either. Musicians were struggling and poor already before the pandemic, but now it has reached the next level. As millions of musicians are considering taking up a job as accountants or, or software engineers, or in the UK, half of the musicians already doing it, some countries try to help their freelancers. Well, some more than others. Look, those numbers are fictional and made up. Which brings us back to the problem of fake news. It's so easy. If you do not have the budget for real research, you make up the numbers uh, or you pull them from other websites which don't have the budget and make them up themselves. Then one can cite each other's bullshit numbers and bingo, welcome to 2020. The help that musicians are getting in the US is being fired from various orchestras without anywhere else to turn. The pop world is not really affected any less, especially as some of the acts are used to performing in large stadiums. Now the future looks a bit like this. Of course, if you're not a top star and have been struggling before, you are really fucked now. The movie The Pianist depicted how a career of an individual was ruined by World War II for several years. Literally every pianist is the pianist in that movie these days. If you played gigs as a normal pop, jazz or classical muso and were not part of some <laughs> grand... What? <laughs> muso is a musician, it's a slang for musician. <laughs> If you played gigs as a normal pop, jazz or classical muso and were not part of some grand orchestra, you could have saved up all you wanted, but after some months, you're still fucked. But hey, orchestras are fucked too, and some more than others, I guess. In Europe, many orchestras are supported by the government. The US system of having rich donors as patrons is a good idea in theory, but once the economy has a downturn like during corona times and the donors jump off. Bye bye orchestra. Orchestras are closing left, right and center and simply firing their musicians and staff, which in the US is about 80 players to 800 staff members per orchestra. But that slight discrepancy we will talk about another time. Staying at home has forced musicians to reconsider everything. Some started practicing, some stopped practicing. Some started and then stopped. Then we had the second wave. The second wave of musicians posting performances from home. This ranged from professional Hope at Home, recorded for Deutsche Grammophon broadcast on art and social media, to this. <laughs> At the same time as so many musicians suffering, the violinist Daniel Hope's career has gone through the roof to such an extent that some people have started conspiracy theories that Daniel Hope orchestrated the coronavirus. Not really, but perhaps after this they will. However, Hope is near as concerts have started happening, but with some minor restrictions. And one has to say that some of the musicians may just be a little bit out of shape. What's that? Come on. Oh my god. That's so nice. Harmony. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. What's wrong with my shape? Oh, I'm in love with the shape of you. We push and pull like a magnet do. Although my heart is falling too. I'm in love with your body And last night you were in my room 
Additionally, orchestra started doing corona videos. <laughs> Us musicians are having a hard time, but there are still people starving in the world and women being abused, especially during Corona times. Which brings me to a video where I was involved in with the Impossible Orchestra, which is a really wonderful and noble idea by the Mexican conductor Alondra de la Parra, who has recruited top soloists like Maxim Vengerov, and for some reason me, and forced us to play orchestra parts of the famous Mexican Danzón by Arturo Márquez. This project has raised hundreds of thousands of euros for good causes before it even launched. Unless you put some effort into it and maybe even raise some money for a good cause or at least for yourself. Stop making pointless corona videos. There is one very surprising aspect that has come out of corona times. Many people who were safely employed and kept on working from home without any danger of losing their job, felt worried, lost, and at times even depressed. Yet many musicians and artists whose whole financial existence was jeopardized felt empowered through the sudden creative and reflective time. Now, of course, there were plenty of us who were and still are worried, but essentially there is something freeing about, well, about being free free from having to play concerts and having obligations and able to pursue creative ideas such as randomly starting your own personal music news that amuse. I want you to subscribe to my channel in order to watch Amuse News and then the world will be a better place, you'll be a happier person everything will be amazing and you'll actually you'll automatically become very rich and uh, sexy. <laughs>